Hey guys, Shadow Wada here, bringing you Game 2, the rematch on Moscow Outskirts. Now this game had a lot more salt in it, and one of the things that brought success for me and Wander in the previous game, uh, which was holding the sides and just focusing on that, uh, on Moscow Outskirts, it's a little bit harder to do that, uh, a lot harder to do that, as opposed to crossing in the woods. Because uh, Sagwa and his buddy learned from their mistakes in the last game and focused on doing more teamwork um, than, than, um, than me and Wanderer did in this game. And so it's, it's an interesting thing uh, seeing how different maps and how uh, your opponent can adapt to your strategies and whatnot. And near the end, I also go in depth about uh, my commander choices and all that. So do, do check that out near the end where uh, I talk about the commanders, since a lot of you guys ask me like, oh, you know, which commanders are better than others? Why would you go this commander and not that commander? So I do break down my three. So anyhow, over to the game, and I hope you enjoy. Uh, I just realized Sagwa has all fucking tiger bulletins. Mm -hmm. well, when, when has the tiger ever been relevant recently? Like, did he did he Try. get one last game or was it just the P four? He didn't even choose man. a commander last game. Oh, GG. Did did he get snipers last game? Because I guarantee he'll probably get like five of them now. Go. Gonna be all salty and shit. Let's get going, Now should I go armor assault for the radio intercept right now? Fresh conscripts have arrived. Oh wait, I'll try. Oh dude, I know Sagwa dude. I know Sagwa. He's one of those guys that only plays Axis because Axis is easier. You don't have to tell me about Sagwa. Okay, W's on my side. Like, I, I'm just a little salty because you have people who play 2v2s exclusively as Germans. The, the Brits really kind of threw a hammer uh, in the whole, like, Germans are easier since they have better late game and shit. And they can camp, so Ger and like like Brits are like the German faction for for allies where you can camp with them and shit. But it's just like, uh, and I'm not saying one's better than the other. I'm just saying one's easier than the other, and that's why it's so fucking annoying. Where it's just like you can kind of just camp. And look at that! Look at that! There's the camp. There's that camp. I got I got an MG like in the middle. That proneness. Oh, that suppression. I doubt my guys come to get you, but he might come and get you. Unfortunately, I played the opening poorly. There are no here. 
Oh, how would you don't say that? If you have if you have no friends, though, won't you just play like one v ones? Be antisocial and shit. I'm gonna get some medics, yo. Well, now alter freedom. That does pro. Man. It's gonna turtle around the chart. Yeah, you can come into the middle. Or I can bring my mortar over there and just start shelling the church. Oh, never mind, they're shelling me. Suppression, though. I I don't I don't I don't tell to do that. So what does it do? It does that. They have an MG bunker in the middle. A little hard. We got another mortar to help out with this shit. Fuck, how badly did that fuck up? Oh, that didn't actually fuck up shit. That's great. Oh no. The mill's about to be fucked up. Tank and I like to uh, car. I'll oh, fall out. Yeah, it's still on the map pool. Why won't you do it? The Samoski Summer is still on the map pool. If Edelbrook Station is still on the map pool. Here we go. Port, crew, we're moving. Who am I getting? I'm getting 18 days, okay. Actually, right, so we'll cancel the 18 days, go that. And then we'll go from there. Need 
an MG squad to capture that sector. Mortar moving. Red Army, at your HMP. Her flames, I uh, heard the OP flames coming out. Killed the Kubel though. And the big scheme of things is now what matters. So now Oh he built a bunker Bunker do pro strats, pro strats. This entire blob's over here. Roger. There goes my block. Double eyes, she's middle. Uh, this is exactly what I talk about when I say Germans are easier. You just camp, dude. You just camp. That German camp guy is so hard. It's so fucking hard, am I right? So fucking hard. They're, they're too much artillery in the middle. I'll try to work on countering it, but... All, all, all the map. Why, why? I did not order another engineer, dude. I did not order another fucking engineer. So I don't know why I have that, but okay. Enemy forces capturing supply sector. Three hundred points stand between us and defeat. That thing's fucking dead because flames OP.
So where do you want me to go? It depends on it when I need the commander. I pick a commander when I want a commander. Just keep pushing that side. I suspect that they tried to wheel over right now. That means they'll leave by the time uh, you get back out. Or you just stall them. I just sit on the fuel over here anyway. Like right now, I don't need a commander, so I didn't pick one yet. This is, and this is why I say Germans are easier, man. This is exactly why I say the Germans are easier. Exactly fucking why, guys. Exactly why I say Germans are easier. Because they fucking are, man. Because they just fucking are. It's like, you think you can do this? It's fucking um, uh, USF, Brit, or Brits, and then um, Soviets. Like, no fucking way. There's no fucking way you can get away with this as the other factions. Like, Brits have a shit early game, USF have a great early game, but shit like everything else. Actually, I take that back. U USF doesn't even have an early game. Not, not on like 3v3s and up. Or 2v2s and up. Because you just get fucking MG spam block. I have the planes, dude. Planes. Oh no. Ah. P four is on my side. We have lost one of our armored vehicles. Uh, I don't have anything to stop the P four. I don't really have anything that can counter this shit. Only two hundred points remain. Double your efforts. Get ready to move. On the march. We have more conscripts at our disposal. Here we go. Yes, comrade. We will enemy forces are neutralizing a sector. It's a death trap to go into that building. Being flanked. What the fuck? 
was that? I don't even know what killed my fucking... TBH majority of the forces are fucking over here. Still can't get that. Oh my god, he still has a fucking thing here. Shit's so annoying. The camp, dude. The fucking camp. This is exactly what I talk about, man. They're just easier. They're just fucking easier. So easier, man. So easier. Well, it's easy to work as a team when, you're, when your camp is just in the middle and you can go from side to side, bro. It is easier to work as a fucking team when that's all you're fucking doing, dude. So, yeah. Okay, bro. We're good as a team. They're good. And also, they have dub munitions, so. Yeah, dude, they're so good. I, I don't I don't even remember bringing him up to do that dude I, I never told that guy to do that never fucking told that guy to do that never never told him to fucking do that man fucking never dude okay Where are my fucking Maxims, dude? Oh, great. The enemy is encroaching on our territory. Yeah, I'll watch the replay. Don't hark me, you fucking little bitch. Oh, dude, I'm so cute. I'm a heart shadow water, dude. I'm a heart -um. Heart them, dude. I'm a heart. Give Shawa those hearts. So cute. Tiger middle. We have lost a machine gun crew. Tigers push me out.
Good, good to see that. Good to see that, dude. Where's my fucking flare, man? Went out to my other Maxim, dude. Like, what the fuck? You got a Yardy for the, uh, oh, Tiger. I have a Kedush and three mortars. I don't know what, where the pack is. I don't know why that's set up like that. Wow, okay. More okay. I don't know what the fuck that guy is. We have an isolated sector. Map Panthers. We are down to seventy five points. Yeah, dude, it's so easy mode, dude. The MG with the widest arc in the game, dude. A MG, widest arc in game, man. Yeah, the Grand Blob middle. That, that was something they were trying to go for. Lol. We are suffering vehicle losses. So, so, Soffager, what, what commander should I go, bro? What, what, what fucking commander should I go? What, what, what commander would do anything in this situation, dude? Since, so, so, since you know best, dude. Since you know fucking best. Which fucking commander will do anything for me? Which which commander, bro? Wait, which commander? Just name one, dude. Just name one. You got any? Tell me which one, man. Get the fuck out of here, bro. I'm like, damn, dude. Like, I don't mean to be mean, but my tolerance for just dumb shit is just not high right now. It's just like, oh, dude, get a commander. Like, what fucking commander would do anything? Like, this one's just all armor stuff. This one, like, oh, 120. Like, oh, maybe a 120 would do something. Fucking doubt it. But maybe. The KV2 guy, same fucking deal. If I have fucking fuel, it would work. But guess what? I don't have fucking fuel. So it's just like, oh, I'll pick a commander, dude. We'll help you win. It's just like, man, fuck off. Yeah, stupid.
Command path is on them. And uh, that's GG. Crystal Bevy, don't 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 let the door hit you on the way out, dude. Don't don't let the door hit you on the way out. I do. I'm. I'm. I'm I like when I when I have to answer fucking stupid questions, I'm gonna begin a little fucking agitated, and that's a fucking stupid question. Like, well, what commander are you going? This is like, nigga, when I want a fucking commander, I'll go a fucking commander. I'm not gonna go commander before I fucking need one. It's just that fucking simple, dude. Oh, the flare, dude. The fucking flare. I don't know why this thing is so fucking slow, dude. I don't know fucking why this motherfucker is so goddamn slow. They flared the middle. This man will be victorious, dude. Flag bank base middle down. Guard the wounded commander! This is getting out position more and more. Infantry blob is ready to get mortared. Even. More maxims. The the double the double P grands just came out of nowhere. That's fun. Got anything against this fucking bullshit? The enemy is about to defeat us. We have Not while I had to go shit. deal with the VP on the right. right. 
Two bitch, we shouldn't let them have the middle and focus on size just because if they have middle, then they can just keep waving one of us while the other one's on the other side. Yeah, it's not like Soviet industry has an arty, does he? Uh, I got the KV-8 at the last possible minute. Like, I didn't have any fuel, I had a Kazusha and I was saving up for something. It's like, we got, we kinda got control of the middle. And if we were able to maintain that control, then, uh... Then the, uh, KV-2 can just start shelling shit long range. Like, I had, I had three mortars, so I didn't need the 120 to fucking do anything. Here's the thing. This commander I go if I have a surplus of munitions and I want to convert it to fuel. Which, you can't, re you can't really pick this commander. Uh, or, well, you can't really use the Allied Supply Drop in 2v2, especially against OKW. So, that, that shit's out of the question. Uh, well, that ability. So early game, not not very a point to get in that. Um, KV8, like the reason to pick this is if I want the KV8 and or I want the KV2. So KV2 is good. It has like that long range snipe. You can get repair stations. So that's why I went that one near the end. And then armored assault tactics, you know, that's a good one. If, you, if you've gone tier four and you want to call in an IS-2 and you also want to call in T-3485s, like that's a good one there. You also have the vehicle uh, repair training. You also have the IL-2 Sturmvik attack thing, uh, which is cool. And then this one you go if you want guards. Like, this one's just all around good. You get the 85s. You get guards. You get the mortar. You get the marked target. Like, this one's just sexy. Um, this one I didn't go because I didn't want guards. I, I didn't really feel need to go guards. Um, Mark target, you know cool um so like that that's the thing so in that late game like i i, I didn't really need and like guards maybe but it's just like yeah, instead of buying expensive ass guards especially when they have like two two uh two isgs in the middle a mortar in the middle uh when, when they have all that shit like i i didn't feel i didn't feel it was smart to go guards when i need more maxims uh Oh yeah, rail game making USF great again, I'll tell you that. Shock rifle, well here's the thing, like you could go shock rifle for IS-2 or you can just go armored assault. I kind of like armored assault, like th that's currently the meta right now, especially with the IL-2 strike. Yeah, I just, dude, I didn't need a commander, like I'm, tr I'm breaking it down why you would go a commander. So in the late game, and I have no fuel. It's just like, don't really need that one. Don't need that one. And then I would only go this if I had guards. But the other problem with going this one if I have guards is like, I'm not tier 4. Well, actually, I was tier 4. But it's just like, T-34A5s ain't going to turn the tide. Like, it, maybe I could have went this one. But it's just like, I had a huge-ass army at one point. I had like three mortars, two, three maxims, two two conscripts, two engineers, so it's just like, I don't really need the guards, don't need the 120, could have gotten T-34, 85s, but I really wanted an IS-2 or a KV-2 once I got all the fuel, which we did get at the end. Um, another thing, the other reason is like, I could have went T-34, 85s, but it's like, why? They have so much AT, they have double, double P-Gren Shreks rolling around, they, the OKW guy has a lot of Shreks, they have a Pack 40 somewhere, they have a Command Panther, it's like, uh, really, a T-34, 85 is really going to be staying alive, man. Nah, man, gotta go Commander, dude. Gotta go Commander, man. That's going to win games.